Hello, let's see some data types in Python. Numbers, strings and lists. Numbers. Basic operators can be used directly in the Python interpreter. Additionally, we have integer division and power operators. Let's see some examples. Invoke Python interpreter using Python keyword in VS Code terminal. Notice that float division gives output as float value and integer division gives integer value. Let's see a simple use case of calculating area and perimeter of a circle for given radius. As we need pi for computations, we need to import math package in Python. Let's take a variable radius and assign some value. Store area and perimeter in their respective variables. Our goal is to print those values. Using math.py, calculate the values. As values are numbers, in order to concatenate with the strings, we need to typecast the integer values to string values using str method. Save and run the application for output. Let's look into strings. Strings can be written using single or double quotes. We can use apostrophe within single quotes using backslash as escape character. Backslash n is used for creating new lines inside print keyword. For not to evaluate any escape characters and print raw string, use R inside the print method. Indexing for every character in a string starts with 0 from left to right and minus 1 from right to left. Take a variable and assign a string value. Try printing letters using their index values. Use colon operator within square brackets to print subset of string. Give start index and end index. Notice that start index is included and end index is excluded from selection. Strings can be joined directly using plus sign. Default value for start index is 0 and end index is length of the string minus 1. Use len method to calculate length of the string. Let's do create read update delete in lists. Lists are comma separated values within square brackets. We can directly create lists in python interpreter. Like strings, lists have indexing but only from left to right. Printing subset of lists and concatenation are similar to that of strings.
by giving variable name we can read lists Using index value, we can update elements in a list. Pop method can be used to delete last element in a list. Let's work out on printing prime numbers within given range, say 1 to 10. I'm using for keyword to loop in the range and print prime numbers. Range method can be used to get range of numbers with start and end values passed. Notice that end value is excluded. Notice indentation for each line. 1 is neither prime nor composite, so evaluate if number is greater than 1. A prime number is only divisible by 1 and itself. Using nested for loop, divide the number with all the numbers in the range 2 to itself. If it is not divisible by any number, print it. Here is the output. Now I'll print using lists by appending numbers. To avoid repetition, check whether number is in the list and print. is only even prime ignored for this logic. Proper comments can be given using hash